NFL records that'll never be broken ever. Big shout out to Rebound Football for the video you're about to react to, bro. I gotta see this. This sounds like it's gonna be crazy, bro. Ever wonder what the longest touchdown ever thrown is? What was the it? The worst loss in NFL history. How about what, the wait, most 105 to zero? ever worn? What the well, freak, I bro? Together a list of these unbreakable records. Oh my At gosh. First, <laughs> this player set a record for having the shortest career in NFL history. Wait, Five what happened? Seconds. See, in 1998, Ryan Sutter walked into Meadowland Stadium, ready okay. to make his NFL debut. This yeah. was the moment Ryan had worked his entire life for. But on the very first play of his career, the unthinkable happened. What happened? Because Ryan was just trying to play some defense on the kickoff. Yeah. When he went for a tackle, oh. it blew out his shoulder. Oh, yeah, man, It happened just bruh. five seconds into the game. And the what Panthers the decided freak, that was all they needed to see. So a few days later, they no. cut him from the team, oh. giving Ryan the shortest NFL career of all time. Wow. At just five seconds. But bro, imagine, bro, you work your whole life to make it to the league, bro, and, and you play, bro. You weren't on that field. You think you're about to have a long 5, 10, 20 year career, and you last five seconds like me in the bed, bro. That is crazy. Aaron Rodgers' record was far from short because he okay. threw the longest Hail Mary in NFL history. Wait, the longest in history? Oh my god! What a freaking I love him. Yards. Yards. 61? Aaron went long. But the wow. next record is nasty. That's crazy, bro. Because Adam Jones has been arrested so many times. Yeah. It set an NFL record. No yeah. way. This dude's a menace to society. Because it turns out the man's got serious anger issues. He's in a ball fight. And to him going off the <laughs> rails. <laughs> I mean, the since joining the league in 2005, Jones has been arrested for every- Oh my gosh. Accused of assault and vandalism, throwing a punch, smoking dope, being drunk. Damn, bro. Spitting the woman's- This guy's crazy, bro. Everything in the book. Wow. From assaulting police officers, to poking a hotel clerk in the eye, to what? even trying to cheat a casino in a Bro. game of blackjack. A former Bengal star reaches his hands into the chips. That's a no-no while gambling Bro, in a casino. Bro, you can't do that in a Jones casino. What is he doing? Jones his finger in the guy's face. What? The dealer, pit boss, and security, they've had enough. Jones was arrested and slapped with a long list of oh charges. Pac-Man pleads guilty to a few felonies, wow. cheating, and resisting arrest. And if you add up wow. all of Jones' crimes over the years, Bro, the serious? man has gotten arrested 10 times damn. more than any other NFL player. God oh damn, gosh. he didn't just set an NFL record, he set a criminal record. <laughs> What's up with this guy? We're kicking so it over to this next record. Wow. The longest field goal in NFL history. Yes, sir. Or remember, bro, these are records that will never be broken. So I want to go back real quick. Go in the comments. Let me know. Do you think anybody will ever throw a Hail Mary longer than 61 yards? Do you think anyone will ever get arrested more than 10 times in the NFL? You know what I'm saying? Go in the comments. Every time a record pops up, go in the comments. Let me know if you think it'll be broken. Because this says never. I don't know, bro. Maybe it will. For an NFL record, 66 yards. Boy, this is crazy, bro. I, th I think somebody will break this one day, bro. I think somebody will break this one day, bro. People will get stronger. I can see Detroit breaking it. Did Detroit kick like an 80 yarder before, bro? Or like, is it a difference when there's like in a real game versus? I don't understand. That's not possible. 66 yards. That's that crazy. kick was for the win and history. That's well, and crazy, the craziest bro. part is, literally the same day, what? the Cardinals tried to break this record. What? Well, instead of scoring, the other team caught the ball wow. and started running. No way. No way. He thought he was Justin Tucker, but nah, man. That boy was not JT. That boy threw a kick six. That boy threw a kick six. Oh my gosh. That's insane, bro. Wow, that has to be a freaking horrible feeling as a kicker, bro. Knowing that your kick is the reason that your team is lost, bro. Wow. Yeah. Kick Instead six. of breaking the field goal record, the Cardinals helped set a record for another team. That's crazy. Because that touchdown return oh. was 109 what? yards, which made it the longest in NFL history. Man, so two I couldn't run that far if I tried. Me? And neither could this oh. next player. Because Aaron Gibson set an NFL record okay. for being fat. Yeah. What? See, growing up, Aaron had a rough childhood. He moved over 30 times as a kid, okay. and at one point was even homeless. Damn. Which left him constantly wondering where his next meal would come from. Uh, so, once Aaron got to college and his meals became fully paid for, my man was eating everything in sight. And no he way. continued this all the way through the NFL, until eventually, it became a huge problem. Because this dude ate himself. All the way up to 480 oh pounds. My God, the heaviest 500? reported weight in NFL history. Dude. But soon after, Aaron ended up meeting the love of his life, and she helped him turn things around, getting him wow. on a diet, and helping him lose over 110 pounds. Wow. Man, Aaron went from fat to fit.
Bun. Man, he got a six pack. I don't even got a six pack, bro. What the freak, bro? I need his workout routine. I ain't gonna lie, his W wife, bro. W wife. Right, we're gonna go from fit to fast, cause we gotta talk about the fastest touchdown ever. See, in a game against the Cowboys, the Eagles tried to start the game off by being a little sneaky. And That's crazy, bro. I didn't know that happened in real life. But how is that a record? Like, what's the record? What, what record? A that? touchdown in only three seconds. Oh. No one will ever do that again. Wait, but bro. A touchdown in three seconds, nobody would do that again? Are you dumb? Not are you dumb. I'm sorry, bro. But, bro, come on, bro. Like, if you're on a one-yard line on a goal line and you say hike and hand the ball off, that's a touchdown in, like, one or two seconds. Or, like, a quarterback sneak. There's been touchdowns in less than three seconds. I don't think that's a record, bro. By the way, I'm eating strawberries, man. Eat healthy. Right, what they'll probably do is Josh Johnson, because this dude holds the record for being the biggest hoe in NFL history. Whoa. See, after getting drafted in 2008, one thing became clear. Josh sucked. So we got treated like a rag doll, bouncing right. from team to team so wow. many times that in 2022, it put him in the record books because he signed with the Broncos, becoming his 14th team in 14 years. Oh my God. The most teams an NFL player has ever played for. That and is this insane. dude is just team Nobody high. wanted him. Well, right? let's hop over to our next record. A moment that made an NFL quarterback king of the glizzies. This is uh, an official Guinness World <laughs> Records attempt for the longest throw and catch of a hot dog sausage hey, yo, into a bun. Hey, yo, and Mark Brunel, uh, ex-quarterback of Jacksonville Jaguars, stepped up to the challenge. A little different than throwing a football, of course, but anybody can throw a football. Not everybody can throw a hot dog. There will need to be a throw of a minimum 20 meters what am I watching? in the hot dog bun. What the fuck? What am I watching? No way, bro. There's no freaking way. What am I watching, bro? Bro, what the fuck? Bro, what am I watching? That is absolutely insane, bro. What the heck am I actually watching, bro? <laughs> he slid his wiener right in. Hey, but yo, he OBJ slid his, slid his foot in. Guys, he set a record for wearing the most expensive cleats in NFL history. How much were they, like 10000 yeah. In 2022, Odell wanted to get a foot up on the shoe game. So he hit up LA-based shoe designer, the shoe surgeon, and like had him make 000. custom, one-of-a-kind, blue and gold no more cleats, than 30K. laced with 150 grams of 14-karat gold, and a Nike swoosh with 1,525-karat white diamonds. But these were some massive shoes to fill, because they cost OBJ a ridiculous $200,000, making them the most expensive God cleats damn. to ever touch an NFL player's feet. That bro, is a W. Some and speaking of life. W's, we gotta talk about the Viking. Bro, some people just got too much money, bro. 200 bands is insane on some damn shoes that you're gonna run around and get dirty. <laughs> bro, you could have bought a house, bro. Damn. Because they pulled off the biggest comeback in NFL history. See, in December of 2022, the Vikings were playing the Colts, okay. and by the third quarter, things were looking a Damn, business. 31 to Vikings zero? were down 33 zero? Oh to my 33, God. knowing they were about to become the laughing comeback, stock bro. of the entire league. They so comeback, they put bro. their heads down and went to work, grabbing fumbles, making stops, and scoring touchdowns. Till eventually, by the end of the fourth quarter, the Vikings had tied the game and what? sent it to overtime. Bro, that is crazy, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. That's insane, bro. How the freak did he do that, bro? How do you break a 30, bro? How do you even, like, mentally want to keep playing? I would have gave up, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Man, the Colts had him in the first half. I'm not gonna lie. But I wish I was lying about this next record. The okay. most embarrassing NFL record bro, ever. Do not show my New York Giants doing bad things, bro. I'm a big Giants fan. It's my favorite team. Do not disrespect us, bro. See, in 2009, I what the pass rebound, did to the on, Titans should have been illegal because they beat them so bad, okay. they made history twice. What? Hitting them with a 59-point blowout. Oh, the my God. The biggest blowout ever. But that's Damn. not even the craziest part because while Tom Brady and the Patriots were destroying the Titans, yeah. Tom was setting his own record because during the second quarter, he yeah. went psycho, throwing five touchdowns in the most one quarter in a single quarter damn bro uh, the pass should be locked up for murder yeah that, and they need to broken. lock up the cleveland browns too because they wow. have the worst record the league has ever seen what was it in 2017 the browns were down bad and i mean yeah. really bad see their entire team battled injuries all season yeah. causing dudes to play who would normally never see the field 
And despite trying as hard as they could, oh the my Browns gosh. lost every single Damn, game that season, going 0 and 16. <laughs> Yo, this is so messed up right here. Look, it says 0 and 16, and it says playoff finish did not qualify. Bro, you didn't have to put that NFL or whoever made this. Like, we know they didn't qualify, bro. You didn't have to rub it in their face. Like, <laughs> that's so messed up. Oh my God, general manager got fired week 13. Dude, this is just horrible right here. This is a whole horrible thing to look at. Oh my God. Team, that is the worst record of all time. And while wow. the team was getting roasted by the media, you'd think Browns fans would be pissed. But instead, for some reason, they decided to throw the team a parade to celebrate this embarrassing record. What? As we just showed you, the parade was met with Why some would you frustration throw and some excitement, much like a regular Browns what? season. Some Why would you including <laughs> players themselves today called it insensitive, even telling supporters they weren't real fans. Bro. Now those in favor of the parade say that it is a message to the front office that things need to change. Man. What Browns fans heck? got that it is, bad, yeah, but weird. at least lie. they're not Bucks fans, cause yeah, the Bucks Tampa Bay suck. Buccaneers were the worst team of all time. See, so in 1976, the Bucks finished their season losing all 14 of their games, wow, averaging okay. just 8 points per game, okay. which were both NFL records at the time for the worst season and worst points averaged by a team. Damn. But as bad as their season was, they wanted to return the next year and okay. prove to the world that it was as just a should. fluke. As you Hell, should, bro, they even got yourself. the number one pick in the draft, yes, sir. so they brought back most of the team for a shot at redemption. Let's do but it. uh, instead... Things yeah. got even worse because uh, they ended up losing another 12 straight oh games. Oh my god! The laughing stock of the country. No way! Yeah, they were zero and 26 over two seasons. Wow! Eventually, though. The Bucks won the final two games of the season, and after both wins, they celebrated like they won the damn Super Bowl. Oh, now, look, people ran on a field. Talk you about could the do most expensive then? Super Bowl commercial oh, I this of all commercial. time. I seen this on commercial. average, Super Bowl commercials cost around six million, God, and damn. all that's a ridiculous amount For of money seconds? to spend on just a commercial. In 2020, Amazon wanted to flex their pocket because they ended up dropping 16.8 million oh on a 90-second commercial, and that commercial broke the record for the most expensive expensive Super Bowl ad ever. Wow. Yeah, that's some big money. But look, going big is nothing new to Jerome Baker, cause he has the biggest sack in NFL hey, history. Yo. Let me explain. During a game Please. against the Chiefs, Jerome Baker broke free from his defender. Cause hey, we gotta talk about the smallest player what the in NFL history. Oh, look, history. man, cook it up. See, despite having some of the biggest men in the world, the yeah. NFL has had a few pocket-sized players too. I'm talking five foot seven Maurice Jones-Drew or five foot six Jacquez Rogers. Wow. Wow. But there's only one player that stood below the rest. Five foot one, Jack Shapiro. Yeah, this dude played in the NFL from 1929 to 1932 so and holds small. the Guinness World Record for being the shortest player of all time. Oh, yeah, Man, of course. Why don't we gotta start appreciating the little things in life? But Five there's nothing one, little about Raheem that. Mostert because he's the fastest NFL player ever. There's one player. That's snatching up all the records. Because Tom, Tom Brady has the most unbreakable records of all time. Like I what? mean, this dude's been making history since day one, becoming the only player with five Super Bowl MVPs. Wow. The only player to beat every single team in the league. Hell, wow. Well, the man's even played in 15 Pro Bowls. The wow. Most ever. Yeah, the man could do it all. I mean, he's even played in 10 Super Bowls. But he's there's one 10? game that's oh so God. crazy, it officially made Tom Brady the GOAT. See, in 2017, during Super Bowl 51, okay. Tom and the Patriots were down 28-3. to Oh, yeah, the big 17 comeback. minutes the left in the game. Yes, sir. Patriots managed to score 25 points in Unanswered. 17 minutes. That's and crazy, And as bro. the game went into overtime, Tom pulled off the impossible. Man, Brady's a walking Damn, record book. Yeah, but I crazy, bet you bro. didn't know that the Olympics are a walking line. Because it turns out that their gold medals are actually made of silver. What? Yeah, but that's just one weird sports fact. I got a whole lot more in the chamber the from an NFL player causing an earthquake what? to sports you didn't even know exist. What the heck Look, is if that? you want to hear more, you need to click on this video right oh, here. Yeah, These are bro. the weirdest facts about sports. I do want to watch that. I ain't gonna lie, I'm finna react to that too. No, I'm okay, bro. That's a good video right there, man. Big shout out to you, man. Big shout out to freaking Rebound. You know I'm subscribed. You know I freaking like this video, bro. Hey, I appreciate the love and support. Thank you guys so much for watching the biz, man. We on a road to 40k right now, bro. Hey, make sure you guys smash the like and that sub button. Make sure you always put God first. Appreciate you guys so much, man. See you guys in the next week. What you love, man? Gang, gang.